Taxi People Podcast. I'm Dan Frigolette. I'm here with my guest, Zara Coast. I need you to say your name because hey. my terrible Northeastern accent doesn't do it any justice. Well, no, you did it right. It's Zara Coast. Yeah, but, but it sounds say... so good in Zara Coast. Like Zara Coast. Yeah, it okay, so much it's Zara Coast yeah. then. Not Zara Coast. Uh, thank you for meeting me in person. Hi. Um, we, we've got we've got some good vibes. We, we were we were surrounded by a monarch butterfly at one point um, that was like listening to our conversation and eavesdropping. So I'm I'm excited to meet you in human human being. We're lucky today with the weather. Yeah, lucky. It was yeah. supposed to rain. And we got a little. We're. Not. You've had a challenging day. My dog, uh, my dog attacked you with mud. Yes. So it's uh, been it's uh, been a lot. He's a little bitch. Yeah. He scratched me. Did she scratch you? Yeah. Well, she's excited. She could feel. She could feel the excitement. Maybe she's. She's. Thing. You said you're an empath. She's. She's the yes, same. Yes. 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 Whatever I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, know. she's feeling. So I, she knows I wanted to jump you. It's so a halo. You. It's like an avatar. Do, have you seen the new avatar? Yes, I did. What's your feelings? <laughs> well, see, I'm a big avatar fan actually because Kay. of when when it came out in 2010. It was like a big. It was 2010, right? Something like that. Yeah. It, it was a big deal because of the all oh, like the the graphics you know the beautiful world and everything marvel wasn't there just yet yeah. so it was one of a kind basically they were the first movie i think to like reach a billion yeah so i office. was i was waiting for this one but i feel like it was a repetition of some sort like it was very repetitive yeah to the first movie and i think the third one's going to be more interesting so here's what here's what i didn't know I didn't know that they was that this was going to be the middle movie, and so I'm watching it. And what I really like is that so James Cameron is this incredible filmmaker, and while I'm watching it, I'm like seeing everything he's ever done. So like, I don't know if this is going to be a spoiler alert, but like, there's scenes where it's like, oh, this is just like Titanic, and there's scenes where like, oh, this is like Terminator, and there's scenes where it's like, oh, he did that thing where he was doing a documentary underwater for like five years. So all of that played into what this movie was. Mm -hmm. But then like a couple minutes into the movie, I'm like, oh, this has like. This has like we're not gonna wrap up this story, vibes to it, and that yeah. like really, that kind of upset me because the first movie, kind of ends on a cliffhanger, but at least like the characters are, like, we know what their traits are and what they're gonna do, and then now this little middle departure is we need to get to this place so that our guy can be the guy we want him to be, and he's not gonna do it in this movie, and that was frustrating for me. I don't know. I feel like the middle movie is a good idea. I, I wish they added a little bit more, mm -hmm. but they already added the, the green dudes there, the yeah. green avatars, which was pretty interesting because, you know, it makes perfect sense. We live on planet Earth and we have all sorts of people, so why shouldn't they have all sorts of avatars there? Like yeah. different maybe color, you know, shape a little. So I was kind of, okay, that's interesting. Uh, but I didn't understand the whole the, the big whale thing, you know. Yeah. It was it was kind of I don't know. Well, the big the big felt like it was pushed a little, like shoved in the middle of yeah. something to make it a little more. Well, interesting. and then they and they kind of broadcasted what's going to happen in the next movie because of what their what the like the the rhetoric was around the whole thing, but. And they did it in the first one where, like, you know, we got these little baby dragons, and then there's this crazy other big dragon. So then, you know, the the smart person watching the movie is like, what if you could like link to the big dragon what would happen and that's how the movie ends right the first one um but yeah i don't know the, so i'm still confused because like the avatar was the guy right so now he's not an avatar now he's just the guy in the body and there's no more human body right his human body died mm -hmm. and so nobody's the only avatars now are the bad guys right like well, the people are not avatars they're the Amatakayas, right? They're just... I, I don't know. I mean, I thought the, the creature is an avatar itself, the blue creature. Yeah, no, is but because only when we're trying to manipulate their world, right? The terrible American white people, basically. The sky people. Well, it's not like they're going to change the name of the movie. Right, right, right. They have to right. go along yeah. with it. Yeah, Avatar 2 and Wave of Water, yeah. Well, I have another question. Please. As to where the hell is the big bird? The, the, the dragon. Uh, the red dragon. Yeah. yeah. Where is it? I, I tried to find some information. It's like, oh, he just let him go. Like, why? Well, that's what I didn't like either. Because like, even at the end, like, it's like, no, you like, you've tamed this beast. How is it not that you teach everybody? Why would you still like ride these little tiny ones? And you're a horseback rider. Mm -hmm. So you like, there's like a, um, there's like a nostalgia to like riding a like a like a creature that needs to be tamed. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and um. So yeah, I I would uh, yeah, I, it was the same thing. I was like, we've are, we've got we've got the guy, the big guy, but supposedly there was just one of them. It's like this giant dragon, and there's no other dragons. So, 
Yeah, well, it's supposed to be just one. Yeah, which doesn't make any sense. Mm. That's not a that's not sustainable. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I just hope the third one's going to be more interesting. I think the third one is. And it's not going to take 13 years to make. I don't know how long. They're still f- they fi- they started filming it at least. Oh, okay. But um I mean, yeah, I think he's going to I think he's just going to suck as much money out of it. He means at 3 billion right now. <sighs> he's going to suck as much money out of this one as he can. But what we need is we need that this guy um get back to who he is. And we need him to be a fighter again and not like a sad dad. Hopefully I haven't said too much. My son. Yeah, right, right. Well, and then also like, oh, we can't fight. He went from like, I'm the fighting king of fighting to we can't fight. And then his wife is like, no, we're fighting. Well, she went full on crazy, actually, when her son died. She's like... You know, yeah. and everything. Well, the and action. then and then and then as you like trace back the thing, you realize like she was always the badass. Actually, mm-hmm. um, he was just kind of like, like what's it called? He was like um, under like a pussy spell. Yeah. Well, she she's like crazy. She she yeah. she almost had rabies at that last part where she was <laughs> right. fighting. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. She's like she, she, that's good pussy. Yeah. <laughs> she's like really she's like really involved in the thing, and she's like, and she can control her man with mm-hmm. this with this orifice um but that's not why we're here to talk about avatar <laughs> um so I, I, I wanted to talk to you because okay so i was going through the old episode and there was a bunch of stuff i kind of like uh, either like skipped over or missed do you find it now that you're, you're like heavy on tiktok you're we can find you on tiktok and find you on chatterbait you're on instagram you're t- you're on twitter you're um you're very vigilant about like rewinding and like getting rid of stuff that might not be like relevant to who you are as an artist mm-hmm. now Right, like uh, your Instagram at any given time has got like what, like a dozen, two dozen posts on it. Sixteen, I think. Or okay. 15. I right. uh, no, I have this habit yeah. of archiving a lot of posts because yeah. as soon as I don't like my feed anymore, for whatever reason, yeah. I just look at it and I'm like, I don't like this anymore. The colors are awful. Yeah. So I hide it all. So probably I do have about a hundred posts. Yeah. They're all right, right over time, but showing you only have like this certain amount. So you're like you're constantly editing and changing mm-hmm. and creating, but. Um, having to put all the time, we talked about having to put in the time to the content and all these things. Yeah. Um, do you feel that like being a content creator has like, uh, isolated you as a person? Like, cause I think when we watch a creator, especially in the sex field, we, a lot of times we just want them to be alone by themselves in a room mm-hmm. and you know, to some extent we don't ever see them interact with other people. Um, how much of that is like your real life? Do you feel like because you're making all this content, you're doing it alone? Does that make you more social, less social? What happens? I am a very introverted person yeah. by nature, but I do. It's not like I'm a lonely, you know, little all alone. Save me, please, right. little girl. No, I have a circle of people that yeah. surround me. That is a very tight circle of people, and I appreciate them. I just, yeah. you know, don't show it all everywhere because i don't want to do that i like to keep a certain part of my life absolutely private for myself yeah. but did it influence my life from making me um less social i don't know i was always not very social quite yeah. frankly um do i'm not a party that person led you to do you think that's a better trait for creating content you definitely will stay more focused yeah. if you if you're not all over the place because Instead of, you know, looking for something in other people, you already can find everything inside of yourself. Yeah. And you are in complete, you know, ha- happiness being by yourself, being, like, alone. Yeah. A-, a lot of people don't feel comfortable staying alone for an extended period of time. Right. I can have a lot of fun with myself, okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, I can go into the woods. I can go kayaking. I can go fishing. I can go for a drive. I can cook. Like, I don't know. I never feel like, oh, my God, I don't have friends. Somebody kill me, please. Take me away. <laughs> right, right. Take me out. No. So, all right. So, that's fair. The, yeah, I remember, I remember the, f- I remember the first time I had, like, I I was, like, enough of people and, like, started going and eating alone, going to movies alone, and really how much more fun that is to not have someone, because, like, the, when it's, like, two people, like, there's almost, like, a, um, like, like a, a dynamic where they want to like say a lot about like about what's going on quality wise. So you'd be like in a movie and they're like, oh, this is not, this is not good. Or they're like, what's he doing? <laughs> like what's, and you're like, no, d- let's just, d- just watch and just be, and just be. I think the, and I think the more I like was able to use comedy as a, um, 
like a mechanism to like get out my crap, the less I want to see people when mm-hmm. I'm not doing that thing. Cause like I have this outlet, right? And you have that. Do you feel like you're building a community of people? I mean, you got to get a fan base. Do you feel like connected to your community of the people that follow you? And I would say, um, I look at it more like, you know, I, I see them as real people. Yeah. I don't look at them as a bulk of or chunk of people. And those that try to come in contact with me, which is not everybody. I'm not going to, you know, lie and make it all flowery. Not all people want to come in contact for for multiple reasons. Either yeah. they're shy or, you know, they just don't want to. But those that do come in contact, I always try to interact with them and try to get to know them as real people. Yeah. And if I feel that they're treating me with respect and, you know, they actually talk to me as a person, the conversation continues. Yeah. And sometimes it grows into something beautiful. I mean, I have... I have people that that have been following me for like years, three yeah. years, you know, two years, four years, some, and it, it just the communication keeps going. I know everything about them. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I, th- I think it's beautiful. I've I've talked to other creators, some other creators. You know, they never build really close relationship at all. It's always very much on the surface. Yeah. And I feel like you know, getting in depth is is, is nice because I yeah, don't know, it makes me feel good. So you're, are you think you're, you're more connected to the fans or other, other creators in the space? Oh no, no fans. Just Definitely the fans. Yeah. People that because they they followed me because yeah. they already found something in me that they liked, yeah. whatever that might be, and uh, so there's already something, something right. similar okay. between us. Yeah. I'm, I'm just realizing that. So like I'll like I'll like go through who's looking at my stuff, and um, I just kind of like get a I, just to get a basic idea who's who's like watching what I'm doing on Instagram. Because you can watch who watches your stories, and that's where I'm spending most of my time for some reason. And um, and then every once in a while, I'll just like reach out to be like, "Hey, like, thanks for following." And I forget that like some people just want to watch and like not mm-hmm. acknowledge that they're like doing this voyeuristic thing. So I'm 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 kind of wrong actually to reach out and be like, "Hey, I see that you're seeing me," <laughs> and they're like, "Ah!" Like <laughs> like there was somebody this week that was that had been following me for like two years, and they're and they're like a blocked account, and it's like it's obviously somebody okay. who's got something. They're watching me for some reason, mm-hmm. and I was just like, so I like w- I like followed them, and then they immediately blocked me and like deleted the thing, and I was like, "Oh, this is like so this person is like following me for for Ouch. evil." I mean, it almost almost looked like you know they were using some stalking account to yeah, stalk on definitely. you. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and it was total made up account. Yeah, yeah, it was like it was like a long drawn out thing, like the person with the thing with the thing. You know, mm-hmm. I was like, um, I don't want to say the whole thing on here, but um, yeah, and then I was like, oh, let's see what happens if I follow, and they, it was like seconds, and it was like blocked. This user does not exist. Um, oh my god. So when last time we talked. OnlyFans was like as hot as it could be. Mm-hmm. TikTok was starting to build. Mm-hmm. I don't know if TikTok had figured out how to start paying people. Snapchat at that time was starting to pay people. Mm-hmm. Um, where do you spend most of your time and where are you finding the most amount of uh, like financial reward? Okay, so a, lo- a lot of things changed since the last yeah. uh, interview you had together. Um I would say 2022, I was trying to figure it out and I was kind of trying different stuff, but it was a really chill year because I I wasn't really sure where I want to go. Uh, I wanted to go into live streaming again to try it. So I started back in September. I tried TikTok, which I enjoyed a lot. Yeah. Um, I restarted Chatterbait, you know, and again, it's all on my terms, which I enjoy. I stream when I feel like streaming. Um, a lot of new information came to me out of nowhere. I don't know where it came from, to be honest, but yeah. I slept on it. And uh, I, I feel like I'm moving in the right direction, but I don't have any definite response right now on what I would like to do. There's yeah. I, I have like, it feels like I have a lot of puzzles in my head right okay. now. And they're swimming like in space, but I can't put them together yeah. immediately. It's And I feel like 2023 is going to be the year when I'm going to be actually putting stuff together to see where where I want to be. Well, what's what your process? Do. How do you how do you do that? Is it just You give it time. Does your brain work it out for you? Yes. Most just of passively? The time. And you're yes. just like, "Oh shit." Yeah, you I actually do if if you're <coughs> pushing it, if you're forcing it, yeah. it's going to turn into complete shit. You, yeah. you just don't do that. You you send the message to your head, you know, and you're like, "Okay, you do that, okay, while I'm doing something else." Right. And then in 2 weeks time, you just wake up and I'm like, "Damn." Yeah, so I figured it out. I went to advertising school, and they made you read all these books about the creative process because mm-hmm. they know you're gonna hit that wall where you're like, 
I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to make next. I've like I've like tapped out my brain. And the idea was always that you like immerse yourself in the problem and then you go take a break. Mm-hmm. And then it's when you're doing the break and doing the passive, your brain is still working on it. Oh, yeah. And doing the thing. And then you just wait. And then one of the books was the big thing was that there's this eureka moment. And you like for in this in this context, it was like you wake up and you get like you get the slogan. Just mm-hmm. do it. And now you've solved the problem. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It, it's it feels it sometimes it feels like really hard to like decode all of these platforms mm-hmm. because they favor certain um like like content very differently so it's like you know your initial instinct is like let me just make something and put it everywhere mm-hmm. and then you find that that's like a like a horrible process yeah and so You've 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 been you've been removed from social media platforms uh, in the last year year and a half. Uh, yeah, my my TikTok got deleted actually. And s- so how do you how do you like decide that like you're gonna how do you not get like offended and like be like you know what screw TikTok I don't even wanna. Oh screw TikTok <laughs> actually <laughs> okay. yeah screw them but yeah. I'm thinking about myself here yeah. first of all. You know, I I was stressing a little for about five days because yeah. they deleted my work. Like I was working on yeah. this thing for two years, and it's it's frustrating. They took a little chunk of me, and I did not deserve it. That's right. the thing. I can I can adequately look at myself and see if I deserved that right. or I didn't, and I did not. And um, but I've decided that you know what. If just because they deleted my account doesn't mean they deleted my identity, and I'm not gonna let them control my life. It's not yeah. happening. Yeah. Like, I will figure it out. I always do. And, uh, you know, not this account, maybe next account. Yeah. Uh, quite frankly, I don't feel like creating content on TikTok anymore. Maybe live streaming. Live streaming yeah. is something that I would like to do. But I don't want to just start and then stop again because I'm not happy with what I'm doing. Right. I want to have a clear vision of what I want to do. And I don't want to change like three, four hundred times of yeah. who I am and what I am and what I do and what content I so produce. You think you're gonna you're gonna figure out a lane and then you're just gonna rock it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why not? And uh, Instagram Instagram have been really good to me lately. I actually had um, an ad with the not an ad, but I created an advertisement video for a Sunglass Hut. They okay. contacted me, which was very cool. I enjoyed working. You made with it. That. You they they reached out and said, "Make us make us a uh, commercial." Basically, yeah. yeah. So uh, they sent me the sunglasses, Great. and I created the thing for them. It took me some time, but yeah. I, if I'm doing something and I'm responsible in front of somebody for the content, you know, I'm not doing it just for myself. I'm doing it for the company. Yeah, I will spend a long damn time making it Make perfect. It perfect yeah. Yes, I can't do it otherwise. Nice. So I, I think yeah, that's that's another thing. Uh, working with brands sounds very interesting to me. Yeah. You know, starting to travel a little more. Uh, maybe not, you know, outside of the United States so much for now, but in Florida, there's a lot of places to explore yeah. and uh, a lot of hidden gems. I, I love to experience. I feel like experiencing stuff, even like new food, new place, yeah, that's new my big whatever, it's the best way to grow without actually getting old. Okay. Uh, like you that's can grow. You develop a lot of new neuron connections by yeah. experiencing things you never experienced before and, and you just, you get better. Yeah. One of my moves was like, I would just pick a dish and just get the same dish for like kind of a year when I was traveling around, mm-hmm. um, just so I could like see the complexities of like what people do with this, you know? Because I think we're so like convinced that like, oh, I don't like salmon, you know, or whatever your mm-hmm. thing is, and it's like, oh, that's that's like a close-minded idea. Like somebody's gonna nail salmon for you, and then you're like. You're, you've you've opened your eyes to this new like world. Yeah. <laughs> do, you like, do you like that? Uh, do you no? Do you think do you think the same about any meal, or is it just about salmon? Well, so I I use salmon because so many people hate fish and like say that they like okay. don't like seafood, and I think it's like the mo- clo- most close minded thing I've ever heard. And I nail salmon. I'm mm-hmm. so good at cooking. Salmon. You're so good. So good at cooking. Salmon. Like I can't go. I can't eat salmon at restaurants because they're not gonna they're not gonna hit it. Mm. So I was doing I was doing it to dishes that don't deserve my attention, like <laughs> corned beef hash. Okay. Corned beef hash, um, baseline, is kind of like dog food. It's like it's mm. like it's like Sounds low yummy. quality ground meat, like like um, and it's like 
um, it's like potatoes that have been in a can. Oh, okay, okay. I think I've tried. It's more of a like southern food, right? It's like a canned dish, but um, and and you know, and then but if you just take it out of the can and you crisp it on a griddle, mm-hmm. it can be good. But then. Like I did it for like a year, and then so I ended up in like Springfield, Missouri, and they like they it was like fresh rye, and they shaved corned beef, and then they covered it with like white country gravy with sausage in it, and then they and then they put two eggs on top, and then they put like um, hash browns and like sweet potato mm-hmm. tots in it, and it was like Mwah! it was like the best thing, and it's like so like that guy's brain says corned beef hash doesn't have to be disgusting, let's do that or brisket. And then I did brisket for a year. You you are horrible. Why why are you doing what? this? What? Why when I'm hungry you need to do that? So oh, like I'm, I will try not to imagine. Stop. I was like, what? I was like, why am I getting? Stop imagining. Why am I getting insulted? I so you know I have a weird relationship with food where like I would watch Food Network for a while and and people watch it and they're like the the big, the big move was like when dudes got into their thirties so they go watching the Food Network was like watching porn, mm-hmm. uh, but I don't watch the Food Network and get hungry. I watch the Food Network and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fucking try that. <laughs> like I didn't know that those two things like go together or mm-hmm. that like you know, so. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know why. I'm not like. I'm not like emotionally connected to like the idea of food. Like, I'm just gonna go get it. But somebody else talking about food doesn't get me there. Wait. So. Like, like you're saying, like I'm talking about food, and you're like, now you got to zone it out because now you're hungry. I don't know why. I don't have that response. No, I was already hungry, but since you started talking about it and started imagining, then I'm like, (laughs) tuck, tuck, tuck. I feel something in my stomach. (coughs) You know, it's calling for the food. Most of the stomach stuff. Most of the stomach like like messages are bullshit they're not even like because i spent uh four years like doing um intermittent fasting so i'd eat one meal and so in the morning my stomach's always going hey man like you gotta fucking like stop fucking like we gotta go Mm -hmm. and then you ignore that and you get through that and then you're like oh no i'm good like i can just eat the one meal and then i'm healthier everything feels better and more energy like bathroom stuff's good like everything goes better come on Everything's better. One it's meal. It's not good for you. No, it's so good for you. It's oh, not five meals a day. Little ones are better for you. Than well, so more. those are the two schools, right? One of the schools is that you always want your metabolism going. The the intermittent fasting school is do get your metabolism st- like get your get digestion out of your body because mm-hmm. uh, when you're digesting, you're not like like fixing cells. So that's mm-hmm. the that's the ideology behind it. And okay. both of them are both of them are scientifically like valid, and then it just comes down to like how do you how do you feel better. And I've been eating all the time for the last like year and a half, and I feel awful all the time. Really? My energy's terrible. I'm thirty pounds overweight. I feel terrible. No, maybe you know, maybe it's something. Maybe it's not food. You know. Well, it, food is not helping. I'm not getting. No, I'm, no, I'm like, no. Come on, come on. Maybe I'm not getting just... fat from not food. Maybe you're drinking soda. No, I don't know. Maybe no, I don't, you're I eating sti- sweets. No, I Maybe still don't do that stuff. Maybe you're drinking alcohol. By the way, alcohol has so many I don't calories. Drink. I don't. I. I just eat. It smells like bullshit. That's my laugh. I don't drink. Um, no, I've never been a drinker. I don't know. Wh- I don't understand the the. I never. I, so I got lucky. I never understood the thing that people do with booze. It never made sense to me. I feel you because my body just says no, no, no. It says th- like this. To yeah. booze? No. No. You ever <laughs> see? Um, you ever see Twister? No. And uh, there's a scene where uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, they're like trying to go eat, and he goes, "Food, food!" Like, uh, um, so that's the same. So it's like it's like bumper sticker meme worthy. Mm-hmm. Food. No. So are you a drinker? Me? Yeah. Absolutely. You not. don't like it? No. Yeah. No. Uh, wait. Wait. Okay. Wait a second. Russians drink. So you don't like it? It depends. I mean, I love good Malbec. Okay. Okay. Good wine. Yeah. Is, is awesome. I just can't drink it. Okay. Yeah. I can lick it. I okay. can spit it out, but that's about Is that it. what you're doing? No. <laughs> I suffer through sometimes once a year, maybe. And chocolate martinis. Okay. <laughs> There's a place in New Have you been to New York ever? No. There's a place in New York where that's what that's all they're doing. Chocolate martini. It's a chocolate martini bar. That's all they do. It's on like 26th or something. Yeah. That's and all they do. You know what? Just martini, you know, they add the blue cheese stuffed olives. I don't want the martini. I just want the olives that are soaked in alcohol. Yeah. Those are so That'd good. Be go- that's a good line. That's it. That's about it. You just get just alcohol soaked stuff? I could see that being I could see that being a business actually, just selling alcohol soaked stuff. Yeah, y- well, the pickles. I've never had alcohol soaked soaked pickle. I tried it. It's So I've had a pick, you know what pickle back is? Pickle bag? You drink a whiskey and then you drink a shot of uh, pickle juice. Okay. Pickle back. Uh. 
So that so I see the pickle and alcohol going together. But I, you you had an alcohol soaked pickle. Yes, they sell them. I don't know where, but they're like coming in the jar and they are awkward, uh, awkward like poisonous color for some reason, yellowish. They and turn you, yellow. And you eat it, and it's it's vodka pickle. Give me give me your best like Russian vodka like. I have no idea. Volk, no, just like Beluga. the word vodka. Beluga, stolichnaya, <laughs> good stuff. We love, we love that. So, are, do you think? Do you find a lot of people are? Um, do you think people fetishize your accent a lot? I don't know. A lot of people don't know where I'm from until I tell them. Yeah. They're like, oh, where are you from? Wait, wait, let me guess. Oh, you're from Norway. You're German. Oh, I can see that. You're you're German. You're oh wait, no, you're from an island in the middle of goddamn nowhere. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm like, no. like Mauritius. And and to me, it's like, no. You think it's pretty obvious that you're Russian? I think it's pretty damn obvious. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, uh, I especially if I speak like this, you motherfucker, I think it's very fucking obvious. Yes, okay? but you don't <laughs> talk like that. <laughs> no, I can't. That's the thing. It's so difficult for me to fake that accent. Yeah. Like, I can't do it. Are you, are you how connected are you to, uh, m- what do they say, Mother Russia? Connected from which perspective? I don't know. Do you, do you w- w- will you visit? Do you still have people there? Is this like a I part of your daily? That well, Russia I mean is my like family. Yeah, most definitely. I I miss the country. Yeah, because it's 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 part of me. It's yeah. part of my mentality, and that's what makes me different from people here. And that's why every time I actually get reminded that I'm not an American and I'm Russian, whenever I communicate and I don't understand why people act this way or the other way here yeah. specifically. What are people doing in America that you don't understand? No, quite a few things like, you know, oh, my God, sure, come over. Let's have <laughs> fun together. Oh, my God, of course we're going to meet. Sure. Call me tomorrow. Tomorrow. Like, hey, so do you want to meet? Like, <laughs> my day is free. Let's go. Oh. Actually, I have plans with my boyfriend. So the like, they constantly do this. Yeah. You So you, you, you offer a meeting to a person. Yeah. And I will confirm probably three, four times before it actually yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, I thought w- I thought we had it locked up, and then this morning you were like, "Are we doing this?" Yes, because yeah. I I got you know hurt a few times yeah. like this. You know, you we were like, "Okay, I I actually canceled some plans." Creators for you. are so flaky. You little bitch. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, oh, oh." Wait, are you do- you're doing that to somebody specific? Do that to camera. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't even see myself like. I constantly do something with my hands, and uh, now I can see it. I don't know <laughs> what to do with my hands. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so that's that's annoying because yeah. if we tell they're like, "Hey, come on over, let's go have fun." Russians are I, committal. We mean it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, let's go. What are you waiting for? We're doing for? this. Don't forget to yeah. bring something. Drivers are awful. Driving. Driving is horrible. I mean, so something happened in this country. It's not stupid. At first, I thought it was stupid, but it's yeah. not stupid. It's ignorance. No, here's what it is. It's, no, no, no. It's 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 the opposite. It's entitlement. It's this is my car, and I own all of the space around it and in front of it. And if I want to do something rash, I'm allowed to. But if you do something rash, are you fucking crazy? Boy, I'm That's our tell mentality. You a story. Like the entitlement on the roads is outrageous because I, I'll t- I'll test it a lot. Like I'll so somebody will do something like outrageous. Like they'll just they'll just come three lanes over, get in front of you, going slower than mm-hmm. you, and you're like oh. And then if you have the opportunity, to just like very simply, like I see a lot of these moves beforehand. I've always been a pretty good like um, aware driver, so I like kind of know who's who's making shitty moves behind me mm-hmm. and who's making shitty moves in front of me, so I can just not be there when it happens. Yeah. And so if somebody's coming and they cut three and then in front of you and then I'll go around them and then you go in front of them and they start freaking out like you can't go in the space in front of them going faster than them. There's an entitlement that's outrageous. No, I don't it's know. big I in don't Florida. I, d- I don't know. Well, I will tell you the one that can get my blood pressure up so high that I'm going to bleed out of my eyeball. <laughs> OK, <laughs> uh, there's one thing is when, you know, you're driving on the left lane and yeah. somebody's driving like slow. They d- uh, the most annoying thing is when they drive the same speed as the car on the right from them. Yeah, because then you can't do anything. And then you're like, okay, um, I will move to the right. Maybe the person in the middle lane will start to move faster. Right. And so they do start to move faster, and you start to move faster, and those fuckers start to speed up. Right, and then you still can't get and in. And they cut you off, and then you push <coughs> them by their butt, and then they move over, and they're like, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you, and you're like, what the hell? 
it get out of the lane. Well, Florida's doing this thing now where they're like really trying to be vigilant about if you're in the left lane, you have to be going faster than the other people. You, well, they don't. They don't. And you know what? There's no real way if, to enforce it. If it's 70, okay, now nah, you're going 80. I know you're not breaking the rules. You're going 80. Okay, yeah. but I want to go 89. You want to go 89? That's I your wa- speed? I want to go 89. And it must be so nice being a, a beautiful <laughs> woman in their 20s. I can't go 89 what do you mean? and that's, then get that's pulled the over. Speed, all the, especially if you go down to I Miami. Always knew, like, I always knew like 11 over was kind of where you could be, and like just and no, and you're not getting pulled over. And that's been where I've gone. Whether I'm in like a um, like a sporty car or literally a minivan, mm-hmm. you go in like 11 over. You're not really getting fucked with. Mm-hmm. Um, but like 20 over or 19 over, that's that's sketch zone. Oh, I'm gonna tell you another. I already so have if two I get pulled over, I, if I get pulled over, I'm getting the ticket if I'm going that speed. I don't. I imagine you're not. You have all the benefits of of who police generally are and how they behave. <laughs> uh, Will you cry your way out of a ticket? N- no. What, what do you do? I n- don't do anything at all. And they, you, do you get it? Do you get the ticket? Well, I I I wasn't stopped that many times. Quite yeah. frankly, uh, one time I just pretend like oh no, speak English like you did that. Know. Yes, don't know, don't know anything, and they're like, whatever, just mm, go. Bye. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. Wait, sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> but that was when I moved here. Uh, like I wasn't here for very long. Yeah. I didn't even have my uh, <coughs> U.S. driver's license. How old were you, How old were you when you got here? Like when I moved, moved. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know the story. But I don't know your fake move. Wait. You said moved twice. I, move I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was coming here a lot mm. to United States, but I moved officially. Moved. 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 Nineteen. When you were nineteen, okay. Yeah. Okay. That took me a while. Wow. And to and to generally where you are now, same same location or somewhere else. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Yeah, just a, a little move, not nothing what? like you know. I was in Alaska and then I moved to. Yeah, what drew you to the? What drew you to Florida specifically? Come on, you really need to ask. Yeah, I don't love it, well, so I need to know when people are. I about lived it. plenty of my life in the cold, gray weather. Okay, okay. what like so else. like what's like Siberia like? You know what? No matter what part of Russia you're going to take, right? it's uh, during winter. I mean, you it's six months winter, seven months winter. I yeah. mean, if it's not snowing, it's raining. If it's not raining, it's okay. just cloudy. If it's, it's just not gray. cloudy, it's, it's windy. And you get like two months of normal summer, and then yeah. that's it. You're done. And I can't. I, can't, I need sun. I How need do you warm. do when it's like 95 degrees in Florida and humid? Are I'm you fine. Before that. I go to the beach. <laughs> okay. Are you are you like blast the air conditioned lady or are you like do a fan and I like that it's like hot out? I generally out. keep it seventy two in my house. Okay. Is that? Yeah, that's the an answer. I don't know. That's, that's an answer. That's air conditioning. Yeah. Seventy two, yeah. but I will wrap myself in a blanket. Yeah, I'd rather be cold. I I prefer I prefer I I cannot sleep if I if it's possible that I'm gonna wake up and just be wet. Mm-hmm. I can't sleep in that. No, I understand. I'm li- no, I have the fan running, but not for me to be like cooler. Yeah. It's really for the sound. I need the okay. white noise. I need the. And so you don't? Do you sleep with music? No. TV? No. Um, do you sleep with the cats? Not anymore because my uh, youngest cat that I got is. Uh, extremely loud and at 5 a.m i mean you know it's just quiet you're asleep and what's and that's it what's he doing nothing she he she he just gets bored out of his mind and, and he, he just yells out oh, very loud. this is I mean, the so this is loud. like the crazy cartoon fluffy cat that we've seen no 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 max is awesome <laughs> okay he's the older yeah. older boy the bingo and i mean whenever he yells i feel like his soul is coming out of him yeah and it's something is popping in his chest and it's just like cut out i don't know what the sound is and you wake up and you're freaked and out like yeah like what the f- <laughs> so no they don't sleep with me anymore <laughs> okay well cats are uh generally when you're sleeping they want to be fucking around and mm. being mayhem yeah like bite your toes yeah and that's the f- yeah i was uh the fr- i was I, n- I never had a relationship with cats or dogs growing up so I was like generally afraid of all of them. So the first okay. time I'm like at my cousin's and he's got a cat and the cat's like kind of um, like like chaotic, and he goes, um, he's like, uh, we g- he's like, he's like, Max is gonna. I think his name is Max too. 
but maybe not. I'll just call him Max because you just gave me a Max. Okay, that's fine. So I think it was Max. So he's like, he's like, Max is kind of crazy. He's gonna be like running around. He's like, um, so he's like, then they gave me like this little blanket, and he's like, uh, and, and a couch, and he was like, mm. so he's like, so just don't let your uh, don't let your feet hang off the the edge, or he'll attack them. Good night. And he like flicked up the edge. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I'm just in a ball, just like trying not to get like, because I don't want to wake up to get my feet attacked. Although that's happened plenty of times, where I wake up to just like, and and like I my natural. You heard my laugh. And you were startled by it. My mm-hmm. natural reaction when uh, when I get like when I get clawed is ah like it's just oh, like yeah, ah! yeah, yeah. It's like I've been impaled. That's. I don't have. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I still. Don't, I still don't have a good relationship with cats. I've. I've never been in the thing where I got chummy with a cat. Yeah, it can be. I. I feel like you know, cats and dogs are very different. Dog, they wanna. They wanna like obey you know a lot yeah, of times yeah. they want to make you happy there's a submissive nature yes, to their like cats you actually have to build relationship with them yeah. you have to understand their body language which i i've learned i've, I've, I've read a lot of books and yeah. i've watched a lot of programs about cow behavior you know if they piss on your bed for example just as an example okay yeah my cat did it one time when we just uh, when um when i just brought him home <coughs> and he started pissing on my bed but when he was a kid, doing the spraying, and uh, huh? He's like, it's uh, like sp- it's spraying, right? Sure. Don't they do? They like spray like a no, like a tiger. no, 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 no. He was still just regular pee. Too small, and yeah. he was pissing on my bed, and I was like, why are you pissing on my bed? I thought at first he was being a little bitch, you know. Yeah. But no, in reality, he lacked self confidence, and he was trying to like put a little of his smell on the bed so he feels a little more comfortable. So you can't really punish for that. Yeah. Uh, and it, it passed. And he's like, he's "Oh, this is my bed." Yeah. So you you just don't punish them for this. You yeah. play with them. You can give them a treat on the bed so they feel like it's their place too. Because Ma- Max's smell was all over the house, and he was like, "Oh, I don't know. I'm little. I'm shitty. I'm small." And uh, okay. They feel not confident, and that's why they do that. Sometimes. Yeah. Uh, tak, let me think. So the story. So the sometimes I get intimidated by American people, especially older American people, because okay. they're being little bitches. And, you know, they can, like, snap at you for absolutely nothing. You're and talking uh, about Karens. Yes. We've, and, we've decided. Uh, I, I generally, you know, I'm very, like, I would say I'm a... I'm a mild person, and I don't like what do you What does mild mean? Mild means I'm not going to... <laughs> You know, you don't snap. No, your not at your all. emotional range is in the middle. Y- yes, you're not, I would all, say. you're not sad all the time. You're not mad. And all I the would time. say avoidance is another thing. I don't like <coughs> to waste energy on the conflict. So I would rather be like, you know, you boil in your own pot of turds, and I'm gonna leave. Okay? Boil in your own pot of turds. Yes. Okay. But I realized that actually 2023 is the time when I'm gonna stand up for myself more often. Okay. And so in I person. Went, yes. Okay. Let's run through what would that's going to look like. Well, let's no. run through a previous conflict and how you would handle it now. Give me one that give me one that happened that you like replay and wish you did differently. Okay, a uh, guy on the parking lot did not look after his cart and the cart, car drove into my car and hit and leave, leave the dent that you can't just take out. Yeah. Now you have to refinish the whole damn thing because it has like a sharp shape. Yeah. You can't just pull it out. And he looked at me like it was my damn fault, you know. And I was just sitting there. I'm like, what? What did? What did you do? You know, Where were you that you didn't dive in front of the car? I was. I was sitting in front of the steering wheel, yeah. and uh, my car has like dark windows, so he didn't think anyone was there. So okay. he was trying to leave. So I came out of the car, and I'm like, was it your car? And he's like, yeah. He just pulled out twenty bucks. Like here, take it and left. Yeah. Uh, and now I'll be like, no, you motherfucker, come here. They're yeah. not going to even look at me at Mercedes for $20. Right. You're not doing this. You're giving me a half thousand dollars. Maybe then, then I'm going to leave you alone. Yeah. And uh, be- because I'm, I will have to do it for, for so my y- for my money, you know, yeah. fix it. Did you fix it for, did it cost $500 I didn't to fix? Fi- I didn't fix it yet, but they already told me it's not going to be an easy fix and it's going to cost you. A half thousand dollars is probably the cutest thing I've heard anyone say. Is that... Is that a is that a, a denomination in in Rush in Russia? A half thousand. A half thousand dollars. It makes sense. A half it makes thousand. sense. I totally know what you're saying. I've just never heard anybody say a half thousand dollars before. Oh well, a half thousand. <laughs> <laughs> a quarter thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, we don't do it for that. We do it. For, we only we only do it in relationship to a million. Oh, okay. Well, we're. Gonna I'm be f- doing I'm for it. That's fine. So I'm a, a half. Te- I'm going to say a half ten thousand dollars to people now. I thought you were about to say a half tit. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> you always stop. think I'm going the I'm wrong way. Stop there. <laughs> so yesterday there was a conflict. I okay. took my parents to the uh, wild reserve to show them animals. Because this is I like a su- like a fake safari. It's not a safari at all. It's a it's a reserve where they save animals. They allow you there only a few times a week yeah. and for a short period of time. But it's n- animals native to Florida, or where are the no, animals they're supposed they're to live? No, they're the Africa, Florida, Siberia. So like they're like all sorts it's of this animals. thing where s- people have gotten tigers and lions and yes. things illegally, and yes. now they've taken them away, and they have to live somewhere. Yes, got it. Yes, and the. Uh, they were telling the stories at e- every cage about the cat, you know, this cat Their life. was this, yes, his this name's, cat did his this. His name's Leo, yes, and he was yes, abused. Yes, 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 like this. There was one cat that was found in, like, in somebody's backyard yeah. by a child. And he's like, Mom, there's a tiger in this lady. I have a really, f- I have a joke about this, but please care, I'll tell it after. <laughs> okay, so Mom didn't believe, of course, but then she came to the to the fence and she peeked and there was a damn tiger sitting there behind yeah. the house. So, uh, and you know... And I the was kid was outside or he was inside? Oh, no, the cat was outside. The kid? No, the cat. The and child? The, ki- the, the kid just looked through the hole. Was, in- was inside? Outside of the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, He was okay, a okay. neighbor. He was walking through, decided to peek through a hole to see what's behind the fence and he uh. saw a damn tiger playing on the on the back backyard. Yeah. And uh, this woman was standing there next to me and my parents and we were like uh, on the corner you know and i was translating everything for them because they don't know english they don't speak english at all they don't like and i was translating it for them you know and she walks by me finds another karen in the crowd like god damn it's impossible to stay here it's so loud what the fuck i can't even enjoy my day because you're because you're talking at at first i was like i I, you know it's I even missed it. It didn't even yeah. register with can't me. Be, can't be about me. But then I was like, wait a second. I turned around like, are you talking about me right now? Yeah. She's like, yeah, about you. And I'm like, well, I'm translating for my parents. If you don't like it, move. She's like, no, you move. Yeah. We can't enjoy because of you. I said, no, lady, you fucking move. Yeah. And the other one, like, oh, I will move too. Then I'm like, you're welcome. They're all four sides, like north, fucking yeah. east, west, whatever you want to go. And then I'm like, you know, I'm proud of myself. I stood up for myself. Yeah. I did it. I did it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <Yay. laughs> Thank you. Did it feel good? It feels awesome. Now I want to go kick ass. <laughs> Do you think? Well, what happens if you? What happens if you hurt someone's feelings? Or what happens if they actually like apologize? Is that what you're going for, or what do you? No, no, no. I feel like standing up for yourself. It's it's important because after that, she didn't say anything. She yeah. didn't look at us, and she was standing like aside. Yeah. And if you tell them, oh, I'm so sorry. You're gonna be the little piece of not shit you too. apologize, but like, what if you do that and then they're like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong." I'll be it's like, "Yeah, you <laughs> are, but it's okay." <laughs> okay, all right. Well, so that's a good. So, th- like, as long as that's a, a possible opportunity. When that happens, it's actually, it's kind of funny because people are looking for conflict, and you're like, "Oh no, you're right. I was. I shouldn't have done that." Mm. And they're like, sometimes they don't know how to like react to it. I've been in like, I've been in like, like face to face with dudes where like, I'm like, "No, I shouldn't have done that. You're right." And but like, I, I like held the. Like fight, like energy and space. You're gonna get attacked by the squirrel. Oh. Um, and he was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Yeah." And then he like, and then he walked away and he was like, "Ah!" Like he didn't know how to like, cause he like thought he was gonna fight and he like didn't know where to send it. He was he like hulked <laughs> out in the corner. He's like, "Ah!" <laughs> it was like the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, humans are emotional beings. Yeah. We well, then dudes are dudes are told not to be. That's like that's the main and this is why this is why everything that terrible that's happened to women over like history by men is because we're like told to just fucking shove it down and act like a man and don't show emotion. And then it fucking bottles up and mm-hmm. and then we kill women. That's pretty much what the what the curve yeah, is. That's not a good excuse. You know, men well, are pretty uh, annoying too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but like historically, this is what yeah. we've done. Let's men and white men, m- large. Okay. Yeah, and then now we've got this new thing, this Karen thing. Well, I feel like it's unfair to call every woman a Karen because well, I call every just just the Karens. And there's some. Just the Karens, not all women. Be, be careful. <laughs> People call Karens at any comfortable opportunity now. You know, even yeah. if a woman is legitly, you know, angry or have to say something, yeah. she'll be called a Karen when she's being legit. So basically her feelings are being completely disregarded and she's sure. being called crazy. That's fair. Which is a very comfortable thing to do, you know, for yeah. some. We love and, it. Um, to me, it's like, no, I'm not going to be calling Karen every woman that has issue with something. That's yeah. ridiculous. That's fair. 
So, but that's that's the problem in Damn. society. People people get full on, and you know, she just said like, "Oh, can you please like not fart in front of me?" Yeah. And they're like, "Oh, shut up, Karen." Yeah. No. I'll her, fart where I want. She <laughs> she asked legitly. You yeah. Don't don't do that. We we are we are very much at it, and I and I don't have a better word than entitlement, and uh, but and it's it seems like it's everywhere. We are at this place where. We think we're entitled to our own feelings about how other people are behaving. Mm-hmm. And so that if you decide to communicate effectively, and you're like, listen, this thing that you do or the situation or this is why I'm reacting and so on and so forth, then people like people want to give you the like, oh, do you like that's your problem. Mm-hmm. That's your trigger. It doesn't have to do with me. Yeah. Um, we're like we're th- like that's that's the new trend that's like on the back of the Karen thing. And it's just like. Nobody gets to have a problem with anything anymore because you just get to do whatever you want to do. And it's yeah. like, it's just not holding up because people are just behaving flagrantly. And you're just like, at some point, you got to like be able to discuss. All my relationships have become like, if I, I like try to get the tools to come to the table with like, look, this is what's happening mm-hmm. and this is where our failure is, is occurring. And then it becomes like, well, that's who I am. Who I am is that I did this thing, and I'm not going to apologize for it. Yeah, the the people tend to, you know, go from one extreme to another extreme. Yeah, just and to not have to not let it land on them. You know, this is the top potato. I, it's like you you tell somebody like, oh, you have to love yourself, and they're like, oh yeah. <laughs> I'll behave like a piece of shit, and you know, I have to love myself. I yeah, mean, I can't criticize my pretty self. My God, I'm perfect. Yeah, I, think I cannot be wrong. Yeah, ever. I think internal visibility is um, – it's not in the discussion to, like, see what the fuck you're doing wrong. Mm-hmm. And, like – and then and then also, for me, the last two years has been going to therapy and then realizing that, like, I'm doing fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. And so I stopped doing the fucked up shit that was protecting me, mm-hmm. which then puts me – like indirect like shots of like like I'm just taking shots to the face now mm-hmm. because the stuff that I had that was blocking yeah. was kind of toxic and or selfish or shitty or um, short sighted. And so I'm like, OK, well, I'm going to be a greater person. And then I'm just just all day long, just punches to the face. So but it's like, you know, you get rid of the weaknesses, too. Maybe you, you you're capable of facing things. And it's well, it's awesome. I think what I've done is I've decided to like. I've like gone from being like confident and um, convinced that I know that like if something's not working for me, I'll just like remove myself and do my own thing to then thinking that because I'm trying to be healthy that I can that I can like float in this unhealthy space and like find a way to navigate. Mm-hmm. So where I used to like, to be like, OK, this is not suiting me. I'm going to go. I like decided that that was like a negative way to behave, although it actually is probably the correct way to behave. And so I'm like, no, I'm just going to stay in this unhealth and try to, like, sift through it, which has made me then feel like when I'm in a bad situation, I need to stay. I'm like, oh, no, I'm in therapy. I, I, I can stay and mm-hmm. deal with it. And it's like that's not actually the answer, I don't think. Okay. Yeah, but everybody's dealing with something. <laughs> ev- ev- no, everybody's yeah. dealing with something. There's not one person that is perfect. Yeah. Lee fine. <laughs> I'll add that Lee fine. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly fine. None. I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm doing my best, but uh, I haven't gone to a therapy. Yeah. I, I'm well, you're self you're young. You got. I went. I went twenty <laughs> years of making terrible mistakes before I was like, let's just see what therapy's about. Yeah, I don't want to make mistakes. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. No, I, I don't. But you're gonna. I look at other people yeah. and I'm like, I'm not doing this. That's I good. I can tell you, I'm just not gonna do this. That's good. If you can see, yeah, if you can see all those all those moves. At some point, I don't know, at some point you get, like, overwhelmed or you, like, try to redirect. And it's, like, I think the pandemic put a lot of us in deficit for what we want to accomplish, what Mm -hmm. we think we can accomplish, and then what the world is going to allow us to accomplish. A lot of us got the wool pulled off of our eyes because it's, like, whole industries, whole jobs, whole, like, pieces of entertainment became irrelevant for two years. Yeah. Because you can't tour, you can't do this, you can't do all these things. And you're, like, okay, cool. So, like, everything that my identity is built on going to a place where there's a lot of people and entertaining them now is irrelevant. So like, who am I? You're like you, you hit this, like, who am I pre pre like midlife? Cry. Although for me, it's actually kind yeah. of a midlife thing, but it's um, shocking because it doesn't, it didn't happen gradually it just happened. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> there's like no time to adjust. Yeah. Yeah. So you, 
I mean, that's what you started doing OnlyFans within that time period. Well, I had OnlyFans before that. Yeah. I just never took it seriously. It was uh, streaming, but then I and started doing only OnlyFans. I stopped streaming completely yeah. for a long period, like two years. Yeah. And, uh, well, now I'm back to live streaming. Yeah. So but how do you, w- mm-hmm. what do you like about Chatterbait versus OnlyFans? I know you're putting a lot of time into Chatterbait right now. Yes. I do. Um, well, first of all, I enjoy live streaming. I yeah. enjoy live communication with people. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm very communicative person. Yeah. I, I like the th- this. I, I just constantly do that thing with that microphone. I need to stop. No, you're fine. Uh. You could get. You could. You could point it a little at you, but otherwise, I think you're good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, live streaming is good. I enjoy it. It's it's you know it's something you you put your effort there for a period of hours yeah no 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 we're gonna go back live streaming yeah <laughs> a lot of people don't think it's a job which it actually is yeah. because you don't have an exchange of shoes for money you don't sell for money it's it's nothing usual that you see so a lot of people consider it not to be a job yeah but there's going on a different type of exchange you, as a creator, as a live streamer, give a shit ton of your energy to people, especially if you're good at it. Yes. Four hours is gonna is gonna be like ten hours at the office. Yeah. Yeah, because you are burning you said it. Four it's four hours. It's just four or five hours. That's how long you go on. Generally, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can. It's there's a a, a, a system, but if you want to go the second time, you need to wait for the second wave of people, which will take you another two hours just to wait in silence, you know, and oh. quietness. So. Then what do you do? What do you do when you're waiting for the next round? You just I don't wait for the next round. You don't do it. I just do it the next day. Yeah. I feel like it's better because when you start to yeah, I, I always want to give the best to people. You know, yeah. the best mood, the best energy because they're already dealing with a lot of crap. Why do I need to produce it for yeah. them additionally? No, I will. I won't go live if I'm in the bad mood either. Okay. Because yeah, I'm you not talked a lot last time about yes. the authentic, the the authenticity of like if you're gonna make sexy content, like you have to be. Feeling sexy yes. and be and like want to like pleasure yourself. Yes. Otherwise, you think it's it's going to show up mm-hmm. as fraudulent. Yeah, of course it will, and it's it's not enjoyable. It's torturous for you. I'm not going against myself. I'm okay. just not doing it because yeah. it's damaging. Sure. You just don't do it. If yeah. you do it, never do it. Okay. Don't go against yourself. I like we like when you touch <laughs> the camera. <laughs> so I always go only if I'm in a good mood and if I'm feeling energetic. If yeah. I was sick for whatever reason, the next day I'm feeling low on energy, I'm not going live. Yeah. Because there's nothing I can give them. You know, there's nothing I can good that I can produce. It's going to be just a very mellow I'm going to make it worse for me. Yeah. And for people. <coughs> so you don't want to present you don't want to present that side of you. It's just unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 I guess uh, it's fair. I guess I guess I can do it with my mom. It's a good way to view it, right? Like um like, you know, as a comedian, you, you got to bring it every time. Mm-hmm. You can't like if you the big thing that you learn over a, pe- a long period of time in comedy is that like you can have a joke perfect and then you go up you're in a bad mood and you, the joke doesn't work. But the joke on mm-hmm. paper is a great joke. Yeah. But now you once you add you to it, if you're being shitty inside, or you're not like all the way selling the thing, then mm-hmm. it's not gonna land. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. Now, does Chatterbait? I know I, I always try to ask people about only because OnlyFans doesn't seem to give people a lot of information on what's working, what's not working, how to uh, like make it go better. They don't really push people's content or like uh, mm-hmm. there's no like front page. Um, does Chatterbait allow you to see how long the average person is watching, and does that inform what you do and how you behave and what you create? Uh, there's not that many statistics, quite no. frankly, that they're giving you. Um, there are people that come and go. You remember certain people yeah. always because they, there's like, there's a lot of anonymous people that sit there. So they right. don't even have an account. You, yeah. You don't have to sign up. You which, can just yeah. Watch. Which is like, okay, don't sign up. <laughs> That's yeah. fine with me. But if you want to interact, you have to sign up. Right. And uh, then I just sit there. I, I already had people. I had people from... OF, I had people from TikTok, just my people that yeah. I've known for a long period of time. You know, when I restarted my live streaming on Chatterbait, they were already there. So I already had fun. You know, it wasn't like I was sitting in the silence. Yeah. I already had people that I knew and it was fun from the begin with. It's possible if I started, I knew, not possible, it's most likely that I, if I started and knew without having any followers, it would take me a much longer period of time to grow. Yeah. Um, 
So but you just you people that like you, they will stick around. Yeah. They will start to talk. They will start to participate. It's yeah. uh, it's uh, it's pretty simple. And some some girls, you know, that stream, they're like, oh, I don't know why it's not working for me. I don't know like what I need to do and blah blah blah. In my opinion, you just need to be yourself. Yeah. And your people will come. That's there's how it so, works. Well, there's so much on Chatterbait where <coughs> there's obviously like different schools of thought, but like, so I, I, I went on there because you were like pumping your thing. So I'm like, I like re um, discovered Chatterbait, which mm-hmm. was a thing that like for me was, I was using like, I don't know, 10 years ago or so. Mm-hmm. And. So there's like this loop where like people are just kind of like there in like one position and they're just sort of like scrolling or scrolling on the phone and they're like not even doing this part. And I think there's some school of thought where like you just and then you're, you're just and they're just like doing they're like doing moves. So it's like, OK, so now I'm topless and now this is off and then whatever. And then and then they get done with that little like four minute run. It's back mm-hmm. on. And they leave the room. They go get a coffee. And it's like there's not a lot of like interactive camera. No. Which. I don't know what the point then of doing the thing is, right? Like, isn't that the whole point is to, like, be there and, like... No, I mean, I guess it depends. For me, it's the point. For yeah. me, I need to interact with people, yeah. okay? I'm an interactive person. I need Stay that stimulated. communication. Yeah. Yes, it's a... Uh, I mean, I would I would go insane yeah. by just sitting there and, uh, you know, like... Yeah. Uh, well, that's no. the first thing. When, when we first had to do this thing, we're like, hey, guys, whatever. Like, it, like... We had to like build a whole side of ourselves. Mm-hmm. Like I went from from performing for hundreds of people and being comfortable in that environment, and then like at home I'm by myself and my dog's here and I'm doing this and she's looking at me and I'm like embarrassed. <laughs> there's nobody watching and I'm embarrassed for myself because I can't figure out how to just like pretend like there's a lot of people in there. You know? Oh, you can. It's that like that's that's the thing. So, um, I I have issues. <laughs> I have problems recording stories for my Instagram yeah. because there's no people. I can't talk to the yeah. camera. No, nobody's nobody's right. watching. It's weird. It's because we connect with the audience. Yeah. Some people don't connect with the audience. They don't care for yeah. them. It's just nothing. They I just mean, do their dance. and I I connect. Yeah, I connect with the audience. It's inter- It's important for me. Yeah. That audience communicates back at me as well. Right. Not all people. I mean, some people better be be quiet to be honest like <laughs> some of some of the stuff they say it's like ugh, yeah don't, well, okay, so don't make me ban you <laughs> well there's a i mean there's a um there's like a confusion i think for people when they go to a platform that's like in the sex space mm-hmm. of what the etiquette is and, and nobody's like really teaching people what the etiquette's supposed to be so let's do it now what would be if if I want to be your fan and I want to um, be engaged to your content and you and I want you to engage me back when I go to Chatterbait, what are you what are you asking of a fan? What's the etiquette and the behavior and what should they like? How should they behave to like be in your fancy? Say hi first. What's that? Say hi. Yeah. Do not call me a different name from my real name. My okay. real name is written out there. Yeah. Don't what call me you? Monica or... Why are they who? calling you other names? Because they're dumbasses. I mean, <laughs> like, some of those people are dumbasses. Like, oh, they will do that on purpose just to get your attention to oh, sometimes. Which is like, I'm so tired of you. Yeah. Do not demand ever. <coughs> like, demanding, like directing. Si- like say, oh, directing, like, sure. S- sit, say, fuck you. How about fuck you? Right. Do you, do you understand that language? Right. Like, no, no. I and the thing is, it's not some. Most of the time, it's not even their issue that they're saying that. Is because other girls that are streaming there train them to do that. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And they think it's okay to behave like this. For me, it's not okay. Right. You will talk to me like you talk to your mom. Okay. Respectfully. Okay, but aren't they maybe like there for tawdry reasons? No, of course. Yeah. Of course, and I. Do that. So don't it, bring it, my mom into you, it. You, no, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you say things that you want to say in tip notes so nobody else sees it. Yeah. Because, you know, other people don't want to know your fantasies. Yeah. I'm I'm fine with it, you know, as long as it's in the tip note or PM. Or okay. some people demanding without tipping anything. You know, there's, there's a lot of people out there, especially if you're a model that is on the first page all the time, which yeah. I am. You get some people constantly sending you something, some messages and yeah. everything else. If well, you're not willing to invest in me, I can't do that for you either. Yeah. I, 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 it's one me and there are people and, you know, whoever shows in. You know how it works. It's not yeah. a secret of how it works. N- like, drop a tip. 
As yeah, participate, yeah. participate. Yeah, yeah. make tip. it make it fun. Make the yeah. party going because that's that's how it works. Yeah, you make the party go. I don't well, know. Become my club member, and I'm I'm not telling you that you have to you know dump like a whale loads or yeah. stuff like that. No, but become my club member. You know, show a little. What's it cost to be a club member? <sighs> Damn, I don't even remember. I think it's two fifty, two hundred and fifty tokens. For okay, and then to- what does a token translate to in dollars? So a thousand tokens would be fifty dollars for five zero. Yes, but it will cost you, I believe, like eighty bucks. You get fifty. Yeah, they don't take anything from models on Chatterbait. Mo- okay. Models are. So so eighty. Why does eighty? On, why is like why does it cost eighty dollars to get fifty dollars worth of tokens? Be- well, the website has to earn something. Got it. Okay, it's okay. The, well, on, on TikTok, it's much worse. They they take basically eighty percent. Is that right? Yes, it's it's a lot. Okay. By the way, I, I was gonna try to try to slip this in at one point, um, because of all the pressure of all the of all the things. You know, Snapchat did that thing two summers ago where they were giving out lots of money mm-hmm. and they were having contests and things like that. Uh, right now, Pinterest is is paying, uh, and the, on the creator end, and I've been I've been I've been lucky enough to have stuff um, go really successful passively oh. on Pinterest. It doesn't have the same algorithm where it needs to go immediately. Mm-hmm. It'll it'll earn over a period of like six months. That's nice. I never really understood. I, I don't have Snapchat. Well, they, yeah, they just they literally just. <laughs> but Pinterest, I always they thought just added the creator piece. Like I randomly. thought always it was more of like a s- aesthetic um, platform where you post pretty and it was. pictures. Yeah, and it was, and then and then and then the TikTok thing happened, and everybody felt the pressure, and now you know you're an entity that has to earn money, or you have to like. Uh, you know, uh, like respond to potential investors, and so mm-hmm. they put this creator piece and to to play the game, mm-hmm. they're they're paying. Um, so it's a good it's a good space, and I don't know what the rules are. Mm-hmm. I have explicit comedy content on there, and I've never had I've never bumped into a problem. Um, so it's another it is another avenue. I don't know if you have time okay. to, to take it on. No, that would be that would be interesting. As as my I I'm a little bit like I'm start startled. No, I'm not startled. I'm, I'm dragging my ass right now because. Yeah. My family is here, and uh, I wanna. I can't work. Are they aware? Like, of course they. Okay. Yeah. It's not always. Well, I don't know about others, but yeah. I don't have secrets for my family. Great. It's 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 simple. Yeah. Like cut off the bullshit. It makes but life would, so much easier. But you easier. wouldn't be like, mom, I, like you gotta leave. I gotta make a. Th- I gotta make a thing. So you're not going on while they're here. No, I I don't go, but I can. I just I just don't want to because I want to spend f- all Quality the time, time with them. Yeah. Yeah. But if I need to do something, I'm like, mom. Shush. Yeah, you. I, gotta, I gotta make some money. <laughs> yeah, I gotta yeah do what I gotta do. Is, but is Chatterbait a consistent like? Can you can you hit like relatively the same numbers every time you go on for a four four hour period? Or is it very sporadic? It's um, it's hard to tell. I mean, you can make the same number for a period of months. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. But then at some point something will change. It's it's like you know the 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 when new people coming and and the, some people decide to leave. There are times like this yeah. when you're in between when it's it's it can be difficult yeah. because the your users your past users aren't coming. The new new users didn't come there yet, and so you're kind of in the middle in between. I honestly uh, think that. CB is a is a great thing as a second income, yeah. for example, especially if you live in the United States. I can imagine making a great being in, in Russia, especially if you're a girl that sits on the first page all the time. Yeah. But having it <coughs> as a second income would be nice instead yeah. of the first because it's not consistent enough. Or have that in two, three passive incomes. Yeah. If you want to feel comfortable. But again, everybody has different norms and, and goals and comforts. Yeah. You know, that's that's my preference. I feel like having this and that and, and this and, and this would be nice. Yeah, <laughs> all of yeah, it together. Yeah, yeah. Passive income is the big is the big winner. Yeah. Um, yeah, like especially for performers, it's hard because it's like once you try to scale your business, you're like, I can only uh, there's only this many days. I can only be this yeah. many places. Even if my rate keeps going up, mm-hmm. it's you know it's like I need to make another me to make this thing work. It's like yeah. what other ways can I can I find to do this? Um, we talked about horses before, um, and I, there was something that I never that I didn't pick up on in the last episode where you were talking about how your horse that you were leasing then um, was like kind of a bad boy horse to other people, and then you were able to like get him, her, him or her, 
It was him. Him. Yeah. In line, um, I don't. I don't know if you said punish, but basically you were like you, you were you were talking about like um, controlling a horse. I think you said punish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a reaction, action reaction. And um, yeah. How do you how do you like keep how do you keep horse in line? What's like horse language of like you did something wrong? Don't do that again. Well, let's say a horse is trying to pull to the side, for example. Mm-hmm. You stop them. Yeah. Against their will. They don't want to stop. You stop them yeah. and you start to turn them in a tight circle, which they don't like to do. It's not hurting them, but it's yeah. annoying. And they, well, after you do that over and over again, yeah. they learn not to do the shit with you anymore Got because it. you're going to make them do this over and yeah. over you're and over boss. again. Yes. Don't do it. Yeah. And uh, why some why horses like some people and don't like others? I don't have I don't have any idea well, it's because like it's, like, it's like with the, yeah, and it's like with you know cats. When they like dog, some yeah. People. When I see a dog, if I'm walking and there's a dog that sees me, the dog is like, I gotta meet that fucking guy. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I, he looks fun. <laughs> oh my god, no, I, I don't know. I, I, I had there were babies too. We were doing these baby photo shoots right now, and the, I, I keep challenging myself to when there's like a, like a couple. And they have the baby, and mm-hmm. they want to do the photo shoot with the baby. Then I'll be like, "You guys just take, just do your thing by yourself." And they're like, "My baby doesn't like anybody." Like, don't worry about it, I got it. And I just get their baby, and the fucking baby's just staring at me. And I have this <laughs> baby dog thing that I didn't know I had. <laughs> they're like, I just fuck. I can oh like just, God. I could just grab a stranger baby, and he's happy. So horses, babies, squirrels, yeah, the butterfly, yeah. They, I think they respond to good energy, right? I I believe so. Yes. Do you think? I mean, uh, I know a horse. Or, well, I know a, a dog can really like. They can like w- read your energy mm-hmm. and your emotions. That's why do- like dogs that are freaking out on people is because the person holding the leash is like freaking out. You know, that's like a common thing yeah. in like dog training. So yeah. horses in the same way, right? If you're like not, if you if you're like not confident on mm-hmm. the horse, it's more of like I don't want this dude on me right yeah, now. Yeah, that horse will be like, I'm going home I'm with you or I'm without you. Yeah. Either way, I'm going. Yeah. yeah. Have you been thrown? No. Uh, Never. Like, well, one time, and that's when I got a crack in my spine, and I did not ha- know how to ride at all. I was j- I sat on this crazy horse. Yeah. And the cr- horse was really, like, fucked up on, yeah. on in- insane. And the, this horse kept running straight, and then there was, like, a big deep in the river running. Yeah. And the horse didn't want to stop. And so it was running, running, and then it just, no, it, it jerked to the side and threw me off oh. on purpose. Because so your body was still going this way. Yes. <laughs> and he went that way. Yeah, so I fell on my on my back, yeah. full gallop, like, wide open. Florida and, or Russia? Oh, no, it was back in Russia. Yeah. Here I haven't been falling. In Russia, where they have no regulations. <laughs> no, actually they don't. <laughs> oh, they really don't. Okay, no, cool. they, it's, that's you, know, our American you fail. Idea, it's your it? responsibility. Yeah. It's on you. Can't you. sue anybody. It's just like, no, that's, it. that's your it's fault. It's on you. You you took the responsibility. So you cracked your spine when you, when you were a teenager. I was sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Just a teenager. And and then what happened? Are you did you are you broken still or did you heal? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm good. I just hurt all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know. Uh, and you're you're healed. Yeah. You're good. You don't have residual horse pain. No. Well, it's a. Uh, you know, it's health. What? It's health. It's health. Everyone has some issues. Yeah. You, yeah, you keep Bones, going back to this. tendons, something yeah. crackling and hurting. It's. You still you have that. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I think that is the thing. That's the thing I learned the most this year when I try to like explain to people. I'm just, I'm like to the point where I don't want to tell anybody anymore. It's like, it's not worth it. But then when I was first explaining stuff with, with my eye drama. Mm-hmm. And I would just, I would run into people like, they're like, welcome to the one eye club. And I'm like, well, like, I've been blind in my eye for years. And it's just like people, they don't talk about it because they know that people like generally don't care about mm-hmm. other people and their drama. They're like, like you start telling somebody about your, and they're like, I have shit too, man. Mm-hmm. You know? So that's kind of how people behave. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I feel like some people just need an opportunity to complain a little. To go what? To complain a little. Oh, your back hurts. It's nothing compared to what I have. Yes. <laughs> the the whole what was the the big one was um, like oh you're tired and mm. then they just tell you everything they explain yeah. why they're tired like you, nobody can be tired it's like yeah. this 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 like this entitlement like I own it's the same thing it's on the roads it's the same thing I yeah, own being tired oh you never finished the the what happens on the roads. 
what you don't like about driving and the people, the, the way people behave. You had a story. Oh, they just do that stuff here. Yeah. Ignorant, you know, not turning their head. They they will go and there's going to be 10 cars piled up behind them and they're not going to move or anything. And it's 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 just frustrating. Yeah. Cutting people off, you know, not being careful. The, I, I bet the accident rate in the United States is extremely high. Well, it's funny because I was looking it up before. So in it's it's New England and Florida have the most like rear ends because of the way that people break. So Florida has this crazy thing where you're going 90 and then you're going 50 and mm -hmm. people are just jamming in the middle. I it's Florida's one of the only places I've ever been and it's uh what road is that? 95? Mhm. Mm um and it's like between Boca and Miami is just like that's where all accidents happen yeah. in the country. And it's like Florida's one of the only places where I get you get jammed down to zero and and then it starts up again and nothing and there's nothing on the road. Like most places when you g when you get like to that traffic jam, you'll you'll uh, like happen upon an accident that's mm -hmm. that's taken place. And for some reason in Florida, there's just no accidents. Like what happened? What why did we why did we just add 30 minutes to my ride? <laughs> Nothing happened here. Oh, oh, the most annoying one is when the accident happened on the other side. And you got to watch it. But everyone is stopping to yeah. watch yeah, it. Yeah, rubber like call it rubber necking. Yes. Oh, I don't. I don't know why people do that. It's. 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 It's a. There's a. There's a. There's a voyeuristic, uh, like quality that Ooh. we have as humans. Like ADD. Yeah, you talk about. Tell me, you talk about how this idea that like, um, we all get on YouTube, like with with the good intentions. We're like, I'm looking up cats, like like DJing and mm -hmm. like playing piano, and then you're like 30 minutes in, and all of a sudden you're like dude gets machete in the face <laughs> and you're just like what is wrong with me oh you know my God. I mean? even like america's funniest home videos my buddy's got a joke about it. america's funniest home videos is like is like 20 minutes of like people getting like slightly hurt and then they run out of like 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 superficial injuries and then it's like people getting really hurt and then them like adding like cartoon sound effects so a guy gets like sucked into a jet engine and it's like boing 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 like there's just like there's a quality that we have that we want to see this horrific stuff no <laughs> wait yes we 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 <laughs> me we we me. don't want to see horrific yeah. stuff. No. I think we do. you don't you don't get there. No, I, I I I'm too sensitive. I can't. Yeah. I don't want to watch this because like I, no. There is something maybe it maybe it is a dude heavy thing because every time I've ever tried to show a woman like jackass or anything like that, they're like, what is that? And I'm like, I'm having so much fun watching these guys jump onto each other and get hurt. I don't know why. There's something there's something Neanderthal brain where uh, we love it. I think it. yeah yeah. Yeah. And then I'm, and it's like I don't. Know, and then I realize like Jackass has only made money on the backs of just like dudes. It's wild. Uh, yeah. So yeah. what else? Okay, so you're you're kind of switching gears, right? Like you don't you you may or may not be pushing heavy into the adult stuff. You may like back out of it and then focus on like more PG PG thirteen content. Where are you at with that that level of stuff? I was never deep into like 18 plus yeah. content. You know, I never uh, posted like, <laughs> daddy, oh. right, <laughs> you know, right. that stuff. I, I just, I don't want to do it. I don't, I yeah. don't like it. I don't think it's cool. <laughs> Call it whatever. Yeah. Uh, I don't ever see myself in porn industry, right. meaning uh, in, on Pornhub yeah. or thing, like yeah, this mainstream the, idea that you would yeah. go and, 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 and like, kind of like fuck a stranger. Yeah, it's absolutely a no go for yeah. me. Like, what are you talking about? Well, what if you were, what if you were in, what if you were in a relationship? What if you met another content creator and you're in a relationship? And that was that is that a possible avenue? You're I, I tried it one time yeah. two years ago. It was another girl. Yeah. And it's, I mean, but were you like, were you together or you were just trying to create a thing? No, we just we just tried to, you know, we, we met like we kissed, but it's I'm not into girls. Yeah. I'm into guys. Yeah. And that's so it. I've tried it one time and I want to try it anymore. Well, no, but so if you so if you if you literally if you met a if you somehow fell in love with an OnlyFans creator who's a guy. Would you like make a couple's chatterbay page? Or it is that wouldn't like happen. Wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. Okay, like you wouldn't. You would never be. You would never be attracted to that person. Why wouldn't it happen? Probably not. Okay, interesting. And it's it's. Uh, I'm already there. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. I need somebody the opposite. I need somebody oh, okay. who's that's doing that's a job fair. that I'm not doing. That's fair. Uh, yeah. May maybe something more. Uh, 
sustainable yeah. you know because i i'm doing everything for years now on internet it's not a consistent income yeah. meaning like i'm getting paid for this amount of hours every day of every month yeah i do this i feel comfortable doing this i have been doing this for years and i know how to take care of myself yeah. and i wouldn't want to i would never want to work with a partner on yeah. chatterbait or only fans even if the if my partner would be okay with that i just don't want to do it yeah it's uh personal it's private and i want to keep it this way yeah okay that's fair i mean it's same it's the same vibe like i've never i've never really tried to date a comedian because it's like it's just too same same too much yes yeah. it's <laughs> too like, much of you around yeah. you yeah like like for me it's like i always looked at what i was doing as an asset to the fact that like if i date a nine to fiver and we should happen to like start a family mm -hmm. Now you got two people who are working opposite hours and yeah. can fucking spoil the shit out of this kid. And it's like every hour is like utilized towards making money. Mm -hmm. right? Like, you know, uh, you know, you date a you date an accountant and now like they're making money nine to five mm -hmm. and then they come home and I go make I go make that night money. You know, yeah. that's like a perfect partnership arrangement. So I, I, I dig where you're coming from on that. And and the other thing I would say probably only fans and, and Chatterbait. Because I would consider myself a semi nude model and semi nude model, and yeah. it's not a full on nude stuff. Yeah, um, it's just like nude modeling. So not. I think you 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 list you sort of listed as like erotic in the last interview, right? Yeah. And so yeah, nude model erotic. That's when so when I had the co-host Leanne, that's sort of that was her lane, right? And then I guess the other lane is, is explicit. And then the lines got really blurred for a while mm -hmm. because people were like, oh, I have to do explicit content mm -hmm. on this platform. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that that's, that that's accurate or true. No, if you want a fast result, yes, you're going to go and do what others are doing. But yeah. if you're willing to wait and stick to yourself, you're going to do fine. Yeah. Just exactly where your comfort yeah. zone lies. So it's just to me, it's an excuse. Yeah, it's an excuse. Well, I, don't I know mean, it's an excuse as much as it's like a, it's like a, um, what do they call it? like a fallacy, right? You're just like, you wanna, you you see what other people are doing, and you wanna like align because you think that's what the platform becomes. Now I mean, that was my. How about you be you? <laughs> yeah, well, the best. I mean, I, I, like I, you know, I, I I listened to the last episode we did, and I had kind of a cringy moment where I said, like, isn't OnlyFans like, isn't that where you show your pussy? And it's like that's now, you know, two years later, I'm like, that's not a valid like. No. like thought process you know and i think it's like it's it's closed-minded and like and like odd to mm -hmm. like start there so well if you take chatterbait for example yeah a lot of girls a, a biggest percentage of the girls they show it and they use toys and stuff yeah. and but then you see some girls that are completely not nude which yeah. is a very tiny portion and they do very well i will tell you that the uh, a, a few girls that um, I don't know them personally or anything, they're on in top 100 earners. Yeah, without being nude at all. The first person I knew that was like doing cam stuff, and I don't remember what site it was. I think this is like pre like Chatterbait's like like fame. Um, she like her most successful sessions were she would just she would get cute, mm -hmm. she would stay clothed, and she would just get right here in in the keyboard and just respond to everything. Yep. And those were her big money days, you yeah. know, and she was like uh, an aerialist and all this other stuff. And it's like she like stopped doing the that stuff on there because it was like it wouldn't earn like giving the people attention mm -hmm. and that kind of vibe. So that's a fair that's a fair idea. Different for everyone. Yeah, I guess if 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 you have personality, you know, you have you are not shy to show that personality. Yeah. And uh, that that's well, one thing. But if you are like. I can't say a word. You yeah. have, you can't share anything else. So yeah, I, I feel like a lot of people feel trapped from that perspective. Well, it's this, it's this, it's this world that we've that we've opened up, which is like the intimacy of actually like getting to talk to somebody that mm -hmm. like that you're that like allures you. That's probably not the sentence, but like um, like being able to get direct contact with something that you didn't have before. Mm -hmm. You know, you would just see two people. And they're in their world and you're just over here. And then we've opened up this, like, what do they call it? The fourth wall break of, like, being able to, like, like oh, shit, you can see what I'm saying. <laughs> and you can respond directly to it. Like, that's 
So that's like another like that's become like what the like the currency is for, for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. I think the people that the uh, that are doing the other thing where they're you know they're just toying and all this sort of thing it's it's a, it's transactional because people coming on there they see the thing they do what they're gonna do mm-hmm. and then they log off. Yeah. So. So right now, uh, where can we find you? Where are the places to uh, follow you and pay for your stuff? Instagram, Instagram. Start with Instagram. Start with Instagram. Yeah, Yeah, I have. There's a little maze going on there right now. Okay. (laughs) With the links and stuff, but. So what does that mean? So when you when you go, Instagram's like trying to make it so that you can't put direct links to other places. Well, if if you want to find Cheddarbait, I don't give the nickname straight on. You have yeah, to create an account, why? and after you create an account, you will you will uh, see the name. Got because it. you know, like create an account, make a little effort, right. come and hang out with me. Because otherwise, you're just gonna be chilling there as an anonymous, and right. I won't even and know you that you ever you been can't there. Interact. Right. Yeah. So if you want to know the name and you you want to chill and hang out with me you need to create an account which you would find on my twitter which is zara i don't remember give me a second give me a second i know at one point you had you had a site zarasocials.com actually it is zarasocials.com yeah Yeah. (laughs) zarasocials.com you can find everything on (laughs) zarasocials.com my twitter instagram shatterbait only beans and other cool stuff um, <laughs> thank you for meeting me. This is well, this thank is great. You. Yeah. Um, thank you. And um, we look forward to more of your TikTok and maybe Pinterest and all the chatterbait stuff. What's your current schedule? Uh, on like, uh, if if you had the best week ever, uh, what would you be doing? On, like, how often would you be on chatterbait? What can we look forward to? Uh, I want to add a generally I do three streams a week, but okay. I want to add a fourth stream for people from Europe because uh, time time. I, I yeah, I hear people all the time. You know, we want to come, but yeah. We're asleep. in Europe. Yeah. I'm at work. Whatever. So uh, Monday, <coughs> Wednesday, and Friday, uh, starting approximately at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. And uh, I am I will try to add the fourth stream unless something else comes up. Yeah. The fourth stream is going to happen either on Saturdays or Thursdays. Most likely on Thursdays, and it's going to be during the day. Like uh, maybe starting 2 p.m. Eastern time yeah. and going into like 7 p.m. Have you tried doing the afternoon shift in the U.S.? And it's not good. Okay, there's nobody on. No, evening is the best time for yeah. me. And I feel most active during evening anyway. Yeah. I get emails at like 4 a.m. from Chatterbait being like, hey, do you want to check these people out? Mm. Um, so I don't know if that's like their prime time or what. Well, Chatterbait streamers are all over the world. Yeah. So well, there's an idea, I think, that like... Um, you did your whole day. You didn't have sex, and now you're frustrated. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> and go on there, right? I think that's the idea. <laughs> um, and well, that's where, and that's like that's traditionally where they put all the stuff. Like like when HBO first came, like they would put all the all the dirty stuff Saturday night at like 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. You know. So there's just a tawdry association to that time. Um, yeah, because also like any time I've ever like. I accidentally was messaging girls on uh, <laughs> dating sites. Accidentally well, no. messaging girls on the dating. No, I was on purpose messaging girls on dating sites, but because at the end of my night is three a.m. because I get done with comedy and all that, then so that three a.m. message uh-huh. always reads like, "Oh, I'm trying to fuck right now," and it's like, "Hi," but it's like because I'm not up at eight. Like I think it's creepier to message somebody at eight a.m. on a dating site because it's like, but I would always get like I would always get like. Oh, 3 a.m., huh? You know, like that, like the association. So something about <laughs> 3 to 4 is like tawdry time. So people are interesting. People are very interesting. People people really want to be, to, to like reinforce uh, the bullshit that they've, that they've experienced throughout their entire life. Um, and they're really committed to like making sure that all of the stuff that they've felt is still true, mm-hmm. even if it hurts them. That's what I've found. But what was your what was your what was your catch all? Everybody's dealing with something. Everybody everybody is dealing yeah. with something. Yeah. It's yeah. yes. Thank you for doing this. I'm sorry <laughs> that my uh, my dog uh, Sully your outfit and it's, your it's and okay. your human body. Um, no, actually, wait. It's not okay, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, this episode is you're listening to it's a it's, this is a Sunday night. We drop uh, uh, Monday at midnight. Uh, we drop a new episode every two to three weeks now. I apologize to the to the fan base uh, while things are going on that it's been less. Uh, but this is a fun, great episode. 
Uh, follow her on all the things are socials.com. Um, we're going to break off chunks of this content and share it a in a more consistent and better way than we have. We're on YouTube. Uh, we're on iTunes. We're on multiple feeds now on YouTube because um, of some bands and blocks. But check us out. Keep rocking with us. Sexy Wheel Podcast. Thank you for being here.